there's something in this video, something you're gonna see right here in group one that you've never, ever seen in die cast history. What's going on everybody? This is Nick at Tiny Track Cars and we're here in my die cast room. We have nine cars and then we're here as alternates for our hot tamale tournament on Candy Mountain. Yes, Candy Mountain. Back when Candy Mountain sat right here years ago, these cars had been here and I promised these drivers they would get some time on the track and now is the time. Three groups of three here in our freestanding track in the front room of my die cast area. And folks, I wanna tell you, there's something in this video, something you're gonna see right here in group one that you've never, ever seen in die cast history. Something you will want to stick around to see. Let's hop right into it. All right, everybody, we have this custom wall of cars and right here in this red square, we have our nine cars competing in this mini tournament here. Like I said, we have three groups of three and each group will have one car moving on. We'll have three car finals and then the winner will go right here. Let's meet group one. First in a Jaguar XESV Project 8, we have Dad Bod, Dad Bod Racing. And then driving the number three Camaro, we have Cooter. And then number 48 in the Audi TT, we have none other than Bay City Daryl. Let's head to the track for race number one. The Audi takes the outside for race number one. The Jaguar gets the inside, followed by number three Camaro, who will come out in front in race number one. The Jaguar is out front, but Daryl battling back as they go down that swoop de doop to the end of that jump. They're over the jump and Daryl's out front. The Jaguar and the Camaro are battling in the back. That's Dad Bod and Coots. Who will cross the finish line? Rough into the corner is Daryl, and Daryl crosses the finish line in first place, followed by Dad Bod and Cooter in third. We'll slow that down for you and watch that replay really quick across the finish line. Dad Bod, I mean, yeah, sorry, Dad Bod, one car length behind Bay City Daryl in that Audi TT. Daryl takes three points in race number one. Dad Bod, two points. Cooter, one point. And folks, these drivers will run six laps down this track. They will rotate positions clockwise each time. And at the halfway point, we do scramble the order so they're not behind the same car every single time. Basie Daryl out front with a commanding lead again. Down the Humpty Dumpty and over the jump he goes. Cooter catching up, but does not have enough. Basie Daryl comes down and crosses the finish line in first place and takes the win. And trickling in is Dad Bod in that Jaguar, coming in in third place and taking one point. Dad Bod with three points, Cooter with three points, and Bay City Daryl putting six points up on the board and starting to walk away from this one, folks. Race number three, they're at the line. Bay City Daryl starts in the back. You know he is fast. He's proven it in the first two races. We'll see what he can do here in race number three. Down the dip they go and over the jump. And Daryl jumps completely over the other two, landing and taking off down the track. And it looks like basically Daryl will walk away with this one, folks. And folks, I've never seen a move like that in diecast history. Diecast racing history has just been exploded. That is absolutely amazing, folks. Watch this again in slow motion. And then we're gonna slow it down for you again in even slower motion to take a look at this because this actually blew my mind. Daryl just pulled a Paul Walker from Fast and the Furious jumping over the bridge, over a car, and winning the race. This is absolutely insane, folks. I want you to, in the comments, let's give that a name. Let's, is it, what's it called? The Bay City what? That Daryl is high flying, and he just did something remarkable. We have to name that move. Let me, let me know in the comments what you think that should be. All right, they are in to, oh, sorry. Nine points for Daryl. He's walking away with this one. The battle is for second, but Second place does not get you moving on to the finals, which is the next round. This is race number four of six. Dad Bod in the inside lane in that Jaguar. Beautiful orange paint job there. Daryl behind and Cooter in that Camaro on the far side there now. Daryl almost pulls the same move. Tries to take the outside, but gets tied up with Cooter. And Dad Bod will pull away with this one and take three points. And I'm not sure Bay City Daryl and Cooter will come out of this one alive. Nope, I do not see them as a DNF for those two. They will take zero points on race number four. 
allowing Dad Bod to catch up just one point behind Daryl with two race to go. Daryl on the outside, Cooter on the inside, that beautiful yellow Camaro, but beautiful does not win races, folks. That Audi TT is just flying here today, and he looks like he will walk away with another one as long as, wow, look at that turn. He rips around that turn, perfect execution, down the dip and across the finish line for three more points. And folks, at this point, I'm not sure anyone can catch the Bay City Daryl. I believe he will be moving on to the next round, but we'll see what happens in the last race. I'm not good at math, but eight plus three still does not equal 12, even if Dad Bod wins this one and Daryl DNF. So this is gonna be a victory lap for Bay City Daryl. He will move on to the finals of this hot tamale alternate tournament that never happened. These cars have been waiting for over a year to get track time at Tiny Track Cars, and now is that time. Bay City Daryl showing us again that he's the fastest out of this group and putting three more points on the board and we'll be moving on to the finals. Congratulations, Bay City Daryl. To the other two drivers, thank you so much for sending your cards in and thank you for waiting patiently. Please like and subscribe. More videos like this coming soon. We love you all. Race on.